Top 9 Essential Oils I Use for Anxiety Anxiety of varying degrees has been something I have had to deal with most of my life. In this day and age there are more factors that contribute to anxiety, especially for highly sensitive people. Technology being a huge contributor to the stress of modern living. One thing I have turned to is essential oils. I use doTERRA oils as I have found them to be of a high quality, especially as I use some of them internally. I have studied essential oils with Dr. Josh Axe and trust his knowledge about how to use oils. Using essential oils should not substitute for medical and psychiatric care. So please see your doctor. I diffuse essential oils, put a few drops in water in a diffuser and it sends it out into the air in a fine mist, and use them on my skin. My skin isn't so sensitive so I can use them neat. But if in doubt, do a patch test or use fractionated coconut oil as a base oil and add a drop to test its strength. Here are my go-to oils. Lavender. My first choice oil for calming and soothing is always lavender first. Especially at night. I put it on the soles of my feet and around my temples and neck. I will diffuse it as well. Lavender is so gentle it can be used on children. I also put some on my pillow. Peace Blend. The second oil I use is the Peace Blend. It's made up of vetiver root, lavender, lang lang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, labdanum, spearmint. It comes in a ruler ball with fractionated coconut oil already in it and I slather it around my chest, neck and wrists. Rose. Deterra Rose comes in a rollerball bottle, so it has fractionated coconut oil in it. Rose is such an expensive oil that diluting it in a rollerball is an affordable way to have access to it. I don't diffuse anything in a rollerball bottle. Balance Blend. Every morning and throughout the day, I use balance on the soles of my feet. I also put it around my neck. It's a grounding blend. It's made up of spruce, whole wood, frankincense, blue tansy, blue chamomile. Frankincense. I take a drop of frankincense under my tongue daily. It's considered the king of oils. It crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's good for calming your nerves. Occasionally I diffuse it as well. Serenity, Lavender Peace Blend. This oil has a lovely calming smell. It's great for massage. I use this around my neck or just smell the bottle. You can also drop a few drops in your palm, rub your hands together and cup them over your nose and sniff. By the way, smelling therapeutic oils isn't just a lovely smell, the droplets travel up to the emotion center of the brain. The nose is the fastest way to access this part of the brain. This oil is made up of lavender, marjoram, roman chamomile, lang lang, hawaiian sandalwood, vanilla bean absolute. Clary Calm Blend. I use this when I'm feeling hormonal. It's made up of clary sage, lavender, bergamot, roman chamomile, cedarwood, lang lang, geranium, fennel seed, carrot seed, pomerosa, vitex leaf, berry. Vetiver. I use this in the bath. It's quite a thick gluggy oil and I have to take the dropper out and pour a small amount in. Roman chamomile. I don't use this so much anymore but I did. I used to pour the 5 milliliters bottle into a rollerball bottle and top with fractionated coconut oil and rub on the soles of my feet at night before bed. Some other oils you can use for anxiety, but I don't as I tend to stick with the ones I use most often are, copaiba oil, lang lang, melissa, juniper berry, bergamot, past tense. There are many more oils you can use, but these are the top most common oils. Kate Strong is an intuitive healer and specializes in soul healings, the emotion code, body code, cord cutting, past life readings, relationship readings and more.